A moment ago, we were talking about the flow of funds. I'd like to introduce you to this slide and to talk about the platform and the services from a slightly different perspective. We start with the household level. This is individuals, families and friends with multiple interests in their community that they need to fund. They are interested in organizations within their communities and these organizations provide services to their community. Associated with the organizations are groups of different kinds. All of these need to raise funds. They also need to make community payments. These need to engage with the households and they seek to draw businesses into the mix. So all of these come to the platform to raise funds and have fun. And this is web, iPhone and Android. All of the funds raised go into a aggregated fund that is earning compounded interest. And the reason they go into this aggregated fund is because the grass, many grassroots organizations and groups are not geared up to manage all of the disparate payment mechanisms that those at the household level wish to use to make payments and contributions. Those funds, plus the compounding aggregated interest, are released back to the organization's bank account, flagged for the specific purpose for which the funds were raised. A return of often 90 to 95 percent of funds raised is going back directly to grassroots. The household benefits because their expenditures on activities for their interests are returned to the groups and organizations that they are interested in. The groups and the organizations benefit because they're getting funds raised. The, the funds raised is done in a safe, secure, transparent, compliant environment and for the organization they're often getting better returns at lower cost than traditional fundraising activities. Come to the platform. Those under 12 years of age need community services and talk to parents and grandparents to get them to fund their community needs. The 12 to 18 year olds, especially if they're 16 to 18 years of old, are on life, are online with a network lifestyle, having their parents pay for their interests. Predominantly the 18 to 35 year olds have a greater online presence. They're wanting to assert their independence. They tend to pay for their own things but they still have the need to fund their interest in communities. The 35 to 55 year olds, and these are rough brackets, these is where their aspirations, they have aspirations for their families and friends, daughters, nephews, nieces, sons and daughters. So they need to pay at the household level to support these activities and interests. And then the seniors, whether they're using the platform or not, they are subjected to the influence of the less than 12s and the 12 to 18 year olds. So what you see is there's a complete circle whereby funds are raised at the household level to pay for their interests in their community groups and organizations. The groups and organizations are now funded to provide the services 
that are sought at the household level. Bring into this mix the businesses and there you see what it's all about. Does that all make sense to everyone?